We've had artists in the past that have really relied on the ability to capture people with their eyes. That's how we're going to <laughs> put it politically. Yep. And there's a, there's a time and a place and a way to do it, but there needs to be more past that. What, what else is behind those like sexy eyes if you're going to do it? Are you able to display something else? Because it's not going to impress somebody if that's all that you have to offer. There needs to be more complexity to the artist um, than, than just to be sexy because there's a lot of sexy people out there. But usually with that comes intelligence or comes... <laughs> a, exactly. Look at all of us, obviously. Hello. Hi Shot Judges, my name is Emily Choi, I'm a singer-songwriter, and this is my demo song called okay, Somebody I'm Else. So I hope you like it. Emily. Call me when you're free, now we can start our own party, so let's go live it up like it's 1999. Conversations and thinking did, um, I like the way that you're thinking like but I am kinda shy, I don't look it, I saw the chance and I took it and I'm not looking back living in a hazy world I just can't control the way you cool. make me dance in the room like nobody's watching, no just stop Eric looks so excited to talk. She's an angel. <laughs> what an angel she is. She manages her, by the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, know. I was gonna say, oh guys, I just slid one of my clients in here. <laughs> uh, Eric. Who me? Yeah. I think she's great. I think she could win the whole thing. I also, I serious. She's like a everything. She looks like a librarian, but she everything was so like jazzy and smooth and and also the video is only like a minute and 22 seconds which is like yeah i can come in here and crush and leave in a minute and a half and she did i love her shane yeah i i kind of like her voice too um i like her like there's something about the vibe that she has um she's happy and seems to enjoy and, and i i like the song too it wasn't bad so I, I kind of enjoyed it too. I agree with Eric, and I think we're the most intelligent ones. So we should all agree. <laughs> us. And yeah, we have the best eyebrows. <laughs> Kate? Yeah, I liked her. She had a really cool uh, tone, and she looked really comfortable with her voice. Like, mm -hmm. she clearly sings a lot. So, yeah, she's cool. Jen? Loved the song. Um, loved how she presented it. She's confident without being cocky, and I really like her voice. Jesse T. Yeah, I think she's super cool. This is like one of those people that you can just tell you would enjoy hanging out with. There was some pitch issues, um, but I think that's an easy fix. I actually liked her tone more than her pitch, which quite often we get the opposite. Uh, but I think if you threw on kind of like a cool outfit on her and help that, she would be she would be a package. So yeah. Uh, let's do it together. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, right. going through, kid. I believe in you. Emily Choi, congratulations. Grace Clark. Can you hear my applause? Does it come through? No. 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 Oh, it doesn't. I'm using doing effects it. over here. You can't even hear them. I thought you were doing an impersonation of a No, singer. I got applause in my headphones and I got booze to half you people when I don't like what you're saying. You're the only one that hears it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to yeah. say, you're having a great time by yourself. Damn, this is a good party. It's not really on his sound effect board at all. It's just all in his head. <laughs> Heck, do I get it to go? Well. Hi, my name is Grace Clark, and I will be playing a few verses and a chorus of a song that I wrote called Yours to Keep. I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. 
You say I wear my heart on my sleeve Now I've got nothing but blank stares on the street Cause our passion and so suddenly Babe, you were up and gone so suddenly So I think out of all the female singer-songwriter type sounds we've heard, um, you know, with the crazy runs and a bit of the singing out of the side of the mouth, you know what I'm talking about? Um, I think that she's probably the best of that particular genre that we've heard. I dare say that, and I, and I oh, you don't. Dare. I don't particularly like that sort of tone, that habit that female singer songwriters have gotten into. But I like what what she did there. I think she's got a natural voice. Um, I don't know how I feel about the presentation, but maybe that's irrelevant. Jesse. Yeah, I think when you hear the name Grace Clark, that's exactly what you expect to hear, which is cool. <laughs> Yeah, um, you are, that's very true. That's exactly what you expect to hear. You want to see the wood. You want to see this long-haired, beautiful girl that sings and plays piano, and that's exactly it. She's 19 years old, which means as an artist, she has still time to develop, but I think the core basics of what we would necessarily be looking for are already there. Okay. I actually love her. I think ah, that's okay. the best song that we've heard this season, in my opinion. Whoa. Um, and I really felt it from her. Like, I felt like she... Like, it, it was so authentic to me. Like, to me, that exactly is her presenting herself to us. So I love that. Shane. Yeah, I, I, that's exactly what I thought. Very authentic and just natural. Like, soon as she started playing and singing, I was like, yeah, that's you. Like, you weren't trying to be somebody you're not. And uh, I like her voice. I thought it was great. Eric. No, I think, yeah, she's, she's, uh, I, I won't have to do any branding work with her. I'll be like, hey, you're just, you just are, you, you're doing you. I have nothing to say. Just unless we bring wood into the studio and I'm like, you only perform in front of wood. <laughs> Is that the a only sauna? Thing I can say. Yeah, I'm like, let's get a sauna in here. Uh, good. I, I had a little issue. This is the way she filmed it. I think if we got more of her, Jen, other than I, I knew what she was doing, but I was just like, I felt like I was looking up her nostrils the entire time. But other than that, I thought it was great. Jen. I really like her. Again, I like the, um, I like her voice. I like the way she played. I like the confidence without being cocky. And she just gives me a Joni Mitchell vibe. And I really, really liked it. Well, um, let's vote Shane. I am voting, yeah. Kate? Mm, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes. 100%. You little Jesse. stinker. <laughs> Jesse. Oh, yeah. Eric? Hundo P. Jen? Yes. Believe it or not, I would have said no because I think there's more to be done there just yet. Get but out. What do, you host, what do you run the thing? Get out of here. Yeah. Five, Go home. five out of six. Go home. <laughs> I, <laughs> Here's the thing I'll be the Simon Cowell. It's about presentation. Where are you? Yes. Mm hmm. Good. Over here. Hello. <laughs> that could be any Shane, of us. that was you. I knew it. Yeah, yeah The know. jury's still out on which one of us would be the stereotypical Simon. I'm funny, Simon. Yeah. I try to be mean. Okay. Well, we're just... Is this the next? I think it's decided I'm Paula, so... <laughs> Abdul? <laughs> no, you're, you're into Nicole Scherzinger. Yeah, I'm saying. into painkillers. It's a 2020 thing for me. You're Nicole yeah. Scherzinger. Um, so you were sure. going on, it's Nate Daniels? Yeah, yeah, we're just not even going to talk about this. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Is he a, a velvet tracksuit? Yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> Get your hands out of your pocket. <laughs> I literally can't hear him. He hasn't started singing yet, he's just a massive background music. This is what I listen to before I go to bed. It's like Joe Fresh or something. 
I have is the grammar. <laughs> monster believer versus <laughs> do I make you believe in monsters. I guess that would be a longer lyric and wouldn't quite fit. It's too bad he didn't have effects on his voice. Yeah. Well, <laughs> reverb. I, I like the concept of the song. I just... I knew you would. I don't, um, uh, it's... I don't know how I feel about that overall. The velvet tracks you threw me off from the get. What is weird get. about this? What is weird about this? I, I actually was like, okay, I don't mind the song. And I actually don't mind him singing other than the 10,000 feet of, you know, reverb on his voice. But I wonder what he would sound like a little pure because I, I think he can sing. I think it's kind of hard to tell with that much effect, but I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with that, which I know probably sounds crazy because he's got a track suit on, but... <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I would agree. So I think, just sent me this solar. I think that there's something in there. Hates laughing. <laughs> I'm not. I know. I'm just laughing at whatever was in the background there for a sec. Okay, that go was ahead. Me. Um, I actually okay. I'm having trouble with him because I think he thinks he's Imagine Dragons, and I think he's Half Moon Run. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I got like this really nice vibe from the song actually and i was like "Ooh, i could see something happening with the song and then yes his voice was kind of hard it had he had moments with his voice where i really liked it but it was kind of hard to distinguish past that reverb um the reverb doesn't bother me all that much because it just means that it's uh he knows what he wants the song to sound like when it's produced so it's to me almost like he has a fully conceptualized song which is not a bad thing for this competition so the fact that he's gone to the trouble of doing that and created the production for it doesn't bother me uh it really is just the grammar thing <laughs> why did you get in the singing contest and then i didn't care for my grammar <laughs> jen yeah, I'm really on the fence. The guy clearly has a good voice. I think even without all the effects, he would um, still be able to sing. Um, obviously, you know, like, you know, has a certain look or whatever. But again, I'm still kind of like, what I kept on thinking about was he's falling into that and there's nothing wrong with it, saying this, but a Josh Groban for me or a musical theater for me. It's yeah, I of, felt that too. It's kind of falling there for me. Uh oh, and that is not a thing for you. No, it is not. No, it is not. Not for this this competition. All right, well, let's vote. But I'm still on the fence. I'm saying that. I'm just. I'm still on the fence. Oh, well, I think we're all. Can I? Can I just guessing. make a point? Sorry. Um, I. That's okay. Um, I clicked on who it was under, and he has four official music videos. The lowest one having six point one k, which I know, whatever. But if you listen to those, it makes the voice make a bit more sense. And I think the way that this video was done was in his producer head rather than in his artist head. Because when I closed my eyes and listened to the video, it made more sense than watching it visually. Um, but just for whatever it's, whatever it's worth there. I suppose we can do that. You can go and look at the other stuff that he has. I personally, and this isn't, anything about the fact that you did jesse by all means go and take a look if you're inclined to do that for me i won't do that because you heard me say this before 
Choices, 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 choices. If one of the other videos was better, then send one of those. Even if it doesn't have the intro attached to it, make one, film an intro, and then attach it to one of those videos that better showcases the voice. So what, what I see is what I look at. But like I said, by all means, go and take a look at some of the other stuff that helps with decision making. Yeah, I went and looked as you're doing that speech there, CJ. And I agree with Jesse. It does make more sense in his style and his, his production and stuff. But yeah, and, and to CJ's point, no, if you're going to audition, do it right. Yeah. Don't, don't, you know, what if we weren't able to see your other videos when we didn't make this call? Because I think he is talented. It's 1986, exactly. Exactly, mm -hmm. right? You got one shot, one opportunity, as Eminem says. We're watching. You're going to capture the moment or let it slip? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> And spaghetti and stuff. Uh-oh, this is going <laughs> to yeah. be a tough vote, isn't it? Yeah, Your arms are spaghetti. Um, I'm going to go to Shane. Oh. I I'm going to say yes because I s decided that I wanted to say yes. Yes. I think I want to see him in person um, and maybe something else from him. So, yes. I'm going to say no. Kate? I'm going to say yes. I think there's definitely something there with that song, minus the grammar. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence with this one. Um, I, I completely agree. Like, make an impression. Don't rely on you, their other stuff or people knowing who you are or any of that kind of deal. But I also feel like it might have just been a judgment error. So I'm going to say yes. Jen? Gonna see it. I want to see how it goes. So yes, Eric. Yeah, there's something there. If he shows up in a velvet tracksuit, he's out <laughs> of and it's red. <laughs> if I see any H and M velvet or velveteen <laughs> fogs roll in there, it's done. He's out. <laughs> You've just described my wardrobe for the entire season. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Nate. 